when I used to stay in Atlanta, man, it used to be that spot. Atlanta was popping. Like, you can go to Atlanta and get a record deal just like that. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you can go to Atlanta and if you was an entrepreneur, you could go to Atlanta and just like, you know, meet some type of a business executive or something like that, or you can come up in real estate or something just like that. Nowadays, in 2024, man, I don't know what Atlanta has become. And if you ask me, I really truly think that there's a, a big curse over the city of Atlanta. I think it's a jazzy bell spirit. Okay, I think Atlanta got a jazzy bell spirit over the whole city. You know what I'm saying? It's like the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, like I said, the last time I went to Atlanta, man, I just wanted to go visit my roots. You know what I'm saying? Because I went to school in Atlanta and I used to stay in Atlanta for like five years. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to, re to revisit Atlanta just to see if I've been missing something. You know what I'm saying? Because I stay out here in Arizona now. But so the last time I went to Atlanta, you know, I booked the Airbnb and the Airbnb that I booked, uh, my host was like this this young black woman you know this young black woman and I, that's the reason why i booked it because it was a black chick and i thought you know i thought she was gonna be real cool and lenient with me and stuff like that and so i had a completely bad experience like af after i booked that well when i booked the airbnb with her like when i had left the airbnb um she lied on me and said that i didn't leave it clean that you know i didn't empty the trash or nothing like that all because i left out like 20 30 minutes late you know what i'm saying i told her i was like look i'm not gonna be able to leave out on time but she kept pressing me to try to see like if i was gone out and it, it's kind of like she had somebody coming in right after me maybe she did have somebody coming in right after me that's not my business i don't know that but all i know is like all i know is like she did me dirty she left me a bad review on airbnb and told them that you know, I was non-compliant and I didn't do what I was supposed to do according to, you know, the, the leaving out uh, rules and stuff like that. And it just really made me think different about Atlanta, even after I booked that last Airbnb with that sister. But um, Atlanta, man, Atlanta, you, like I said, Atlanta used to be that spot. But now I just noticed, like, it's like when you go out to certain places and stuff and you go to certain restaurants and stuff. It's like everybody be staring at you. Everybody be looking at you like, it's like you can't walk in no spot in Atlanta without everybody just staring at you and just like trying to see who you are. Um, everybody wants to be a superstar. Everybody wants to be a celebrity and stuff like that. And it's just like, why does everybody act like this in Atlanta? Why does everybody act like there's somebody when we all just here just trying to have, just get equal opportunities and stuff like that? And so, you know, I really think personally that Atlanta has like a Jezebel spirit on it. Um, there's a lot of sex going on in Atlanta. Um, there's a lot of same sex stuff going on in Atlanta, stuff like that. And it's just not the same anymore. Um, so I'm going to play this video for y'all to show y'all what it really looks like in Atlanta. OK, this is a live video that I'm about to show y'all. And it is real footage of like what it looks like at nighttime in Atlanta. And by the way, if you've never been to Atlanta, I'm not trying to say this is not a good place to travel. Atlanta is still that place. It's still black Hollywood. But I think a lot of wrong people come to the city with the wrong intentions and they make it bad for everybody else, okay? Like if you don't know, um, the Young Thug trial, they got a Young Thug trial going on down there. Like Young Thug is a rapper. And this trial been going on for how long has it been going on, y'all? This trial, this young thug trial been going on for a long time. And it don't make no sense. It's kind of like it's a show at this point. Like it's like it's a flute. It's all a big joke. And it just goes to show you how corrupt the uh Atlanta judge system is. Did I say that right? The judge system, you know, the court system or whatever. The court system is right or wrong. You know what I mean? Like if you're doing if you're doing right in Atlanta, it's like you'll get in trouble for the most stupidest stuff. And when you get, uh, when you become a part of the court system in Atlanta, they don't treat you fairly. They do you just like they doing Young Thug. They, they just got this man in there for some stuff that we don't even really know what happened. But it just goes to show you how corrupt Atlanta has become. You know, as far as the court system, as far as the policing, um, you know, as far as like socialization and stuff like that, you can't really trust people in Atlanta. Everybody's just like out for themselves if you stay in Atlanta. Uh, 
And if you're in Atlanta right now, I suggest you try to get out. I suggest you to move and try to go to somewhere where you think it'll be a, a better place for you because this is Atlanta ain't it no more. It's, it's not it. It's kind of like how New York City was. It's just not it. It's not it no more. I'm sorry. I love my black people. I love my black folks, but uh, I love my culture. But it, I have to say our culture is really doing a bad job when it comes to uh, Atlanta. You know what I mean? Atlanta is like a shrimp cocktail. It's like, it's good. It tastes good. It looks good. You would want to eat it. You know what I'm saying? It looks elegant. You know what I'm saying? It looks like it makes you look fancy. You know what I'm saying? But it's like shrimp or the scavengers of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, but do you still want to eat this? Do you still want to eat this shrimp that could give you an allergic reaction? And it's really not the most healthiest thing, as you know, as it really appears. Okay, but anyway, enough of me. I'm about to let y'all see this clip of what it looks like in Atlanta at nighttime, just rolling through Atlanta. And I'm going to let this video marinate on you, okay, because this is real. And comment below and let me know what you think about the city of Atlanta. Do you think you should stay there? Do you think you should still move there because you think there's more opportunities? Or do you think that people have really made it bad for everybody else that wants to become successful in Atlanta okay so I'm about to roll this clip right now it's your big bro trend man make sure you subscribe I'll see you in the next video roll the clip all right so uh this guy thought it was a great idea at night in Atlanta Georgia just drive around and film film everybody <laughs> in Atlanta Georgia in Atlanta Georgia Atlanta Georgia is what 85 percent black there's too much diversity that's why it's failing Hey, so need some white people in there. Check out some white people in there, some Asians. To help these. Oh man, this is great. This is what uh this is what uh this is this is America right here. You know Check it is. out. Start the video. This is this is this is Cape Town, Africa or something. <laughs> Everybody cursing. <laughs> I already heard the B word. Man, don't y'all got a job in the morning? <laughs> don't y'all? What he say? Why does it why does it feel like I'm looking at the episode of The Walking Dead? <laughs> you remember the show The Walking Dead? Yeah. Just people just walking, zombies just walking aimlessly doing nothing. Everybody when you, when the car pulls up, everybody's looking like they're about to get shot. You notice that? Yeah. And yeah, they looking, they say, hey, who is that? <laughs> is they gonna shoot us? <laughs> look, look at that. Look at the balls on the windows. They bent at the bottom. Somebody's trying to get in there. He got me black. 
They've been playing into the neighborhood. <laughs> What are you gonna go buy some Swisher sweets? Man. <laughs> You'll probably get my 40 ounce. And a new wave cap. <laughs> oh, you know you're in a bad neighborhood. You behind bulletproof glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, the cashier, huh? Yeah, bulletproof glass, man. At a convenience store. Look at all these Negroes jaywalking. <laughs> That's a white girl. That's a white girl. She, she probably there, light skinned. She out there working for that money. That's a that's a light skin. You, you know what she out there doing? She one of them Kamalas out there that light skin. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Man, see the dude in the white t-shirt. He's the lookout. She looked at the car. Huh? She was drunk. You know, she trying to make that money. Yeah, she, she, she trying to, try to make that quick money. This dude just, this dude got a tent. Look at all them biceps. He even got the training wheels on. Now look at the car parked up on the sidewalk. <laughs> it's all that damage. Yeah, look like. <laughs> what the? Man, this is nuts. Seems like we are uh, in a third world country. Why are you screaming? <laughs> hey. Man. Why are you in the road like that? Look, he directed traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody listen to rap music. Got that hook. What's going on here? What's going on? Got them bun tied his head on top of her head. <laughs> <laughs> 